Hey guys, FSF Trading here, back with another video showing you how to make some easy money on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. But before we get into this video, I've noticed that 80% of you who view my video haven't subscribed yet. Subscribe, it's free, and you can subscribe whenever you want. It's up to you. Like and share this video as well. Let's try a 50 50 split on subscribed and non subscribed people watching the videos. And 50 subscribers would be nice. Thank you and let's get into these investments. So the first investment is the winger Rafa who is 82 rated. All these are investments are because of batch fruit getting released and these will go out of packs because they'll have a toxin packs instead. So right now you could probably buy them at about, oh, about 3.8k I'd say. Let's see. Yeah about 3.8k. It'll probably hit 5k minimum. You can make at least 1k profit off each one of them. You'll probably have to hold these for about a week's time. Or you can invest Thursday, which is tomorrow. And probably get them cheaper as it's rewards day. So the next is Kovacic from Chelsea, the centre midfielder. Obviously these are getting invested into, like I said, they're going out of packs. He was 3.8k when I last checked, so he's already going up. You can buy for about 4.2k, 4.1k. He'll probably get about 6 or 7k. At least a couple of K profit on each one of them. Our next one is the Eredivisie winger Quincy Promes. Uh, right now he's about 3.3k you could snipe him for. Or about 3.8k I guess, 3.9k. Normally, yeah, about 3.8k. He'll probably hit 6 or 7k as well as he's a winger with decent rating. And is used in a lot of SBCs. Our next is Muslera, a Uruguayan goalkeeper from I think it's the Turkish League. Yep, Turkish League. He's probably about 1.8k. Yeah, 1.9k. Oh, 2k. Yeah, he's about 2k. He'll probably hit 3 or 4k. You could double your money if you hold him for about a week, probably. Our next is Giovinco. When he first actually went out of packs, he did hit about. 4.5k I think it was when he had his actual tax out at first so you could probably make 2 or 3k on each one you buy off him that's easy money in a week's time obviously you buy a lot of these about 100 not just one or two as it's just not cost effective our oh, next is Awa obviously going out of packs because he's got a team this season as well he's about 2.5k I'd say decent rating, decent league decent nation, used in a lot of SBCs uh, when it's about 81, 82 rated, so he's quite cheap. Our next is Joseph Martinez from the MLS. 81 rated striker. Where is he? There he is. He right now is decent rating. Obviously, if needed, he'll go up a lot in SBCs. You could probably buy for about 2k right now. He'll probably get 3 or 4k. You can make about a k or double your money off that one as well. Our next is a Corona, which is probably one of the best investments. You can snipe for about 1.5, as one just popped up for 1.4. You can sell for 2k, so you can make some money off that in the meanwhile. But you can buy for about 2.2k, 2.3k, and will probably hit about 4k, 5k, as he's a decent rated right back from a league what can be used in a lot of SPCs. But our next is Gomez, a French striker from the Saudi League. So if you need an SBC with like 11 leagues, obviously French is used, Argentina, Brazil, and these make people go up a lot. Gomez did go up to uh, about 8 or 9k once an SBC came out last time, and I was sniping him and making about 3k, 4k every minute of him popping up. So he could hit about 5k, 6k in about a week's time. Oh, and next one is Mateu who is a decent rated centre back, 81 rated, France from a different league as well, used in a lot of SBCs of low rated ones, he said by about 3.2, 3.1k if you want, he'll probably get about 5 or 6k, then there is Zahavi, I think that's how you say his name, he's also an 81 rated centre forward, he will go out, but these are all going out of packs because of the team this season, making their demand higher than their actual supply, he probably about 1.9k, yeah, about 1.92k. You'll probably hit about 3 or 4k. Our next is Van der Beek. He's probably one of the best to invest into. 
decent rated, decent nation, using a lot of SBCs. I think he's about, yeah, about 2k. He'll probably hit about 4 or 5k after a week just because of him being used in SBCs. This guy is needed in uh, the hybrid leagues SBC. Last time he went Apex, he actually hit 9k, so he nearly went extinct. So if you're lucky, you could quadruple your money on this one. I'd buy about 40, 50 of him to make it worth it. Our second to last is Gignac, who's a decent rating and from a decent league, using a lot of SBCs when needed in different leagues and nations randomly and like pack SBCs, for example, the Summer Heat voting. And our last one is Joe Gomez, used in a lot of SBCs as he's a decent rated, decent nation, a decent league. He's about 2k right now, I'd say about 2.5 then. Yeah, about 2.4, 2.3. He'll probably hit about 5 or 6k after. And that's the end of our investments. As I said, in about a week's time, these will all rise because they've got team of the seasons coming out and their supply will be less than their demand as the SBCs will also be released, causing them to rise. So we'll be back to see what comes out at 6pm. And guys, we're back. It's now 6 o'clock. We'll now see what content actually dropped for us. See if there's anything here. So there's nothing in the seasonal objectives. So I'm hoping, apparently there's a Verdi coming out, which was leaked. Oh no, a lot as well, and Verdi. I guess that's a show that I want a card. Five star weak foot, three star skill moves is decent. Stamina and jumping, physical, all physical is very good. Very nice pace, 99 attack position, 99 finishing. That's an amazing 95 agility, 91 balance. Obviously, balance could be a bit higher, but that agility is amazing. That is a very, very outside the foot shot, amazing. That is a very, very good card for two segments. That's amazing. I'd definitely do that if you've got the money. That's really good uh, value for money. Oh, they're on the same team, so it ain't showdown. Wow, that is. A really, really good card as well. That's probably one of the best links in the game, to be fair. It's like a cheap Dembele. 82 and an 86. I'd definitely do both of them if you've got the money. Because even if you don't like them, then you can just be used as fodder if you really want to. That's really good by you. Uh, headliner challenge. Oh, what's this then? A 35k pack. 75 rated team. Plays from the same league. Max 10. Clubs max seven plays from Yeah, that's really good. Mega pack for that. You could probably do that with just people in your club. I see I don't actually play FIFA all that much. It's just waste of time, it's dead right now, so I just make some content on it. And the next is the Bundesliga team of the season so far guarantee. Which is eighty four rated and sixty chemistry. This is really good if you can get people like Sancho, Lewandowski etc. Did anything else come out? I think that, that was already still there. No, that's about it. Really good content by EA to be fair. And like I said, get them investments in. You'll make a lot of money in about a week's time. It's worth the wait, trust me. I'll link another video down below which I actually did an update on my last week's investments. And we double, triple, quadruple the money on each investment. So this has been FSF Trading. Please like, subscribe, and share. Like I said, try to get a 50-50% on subscribe people watching and unsubscribed. And I'll see you in the next video.